Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gaming Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today. And we're going to be taking a look at one of the new normal raids released in patch 6.2 of Endwalker, Abyssos, the Fifth Circle. Starting off, Carbonk will do a few auto attacks before rushing one of the corners of the platform and beginning to cast Searing Ray. You'll want to get behind him as he'll cover the entire platform in front of him with an AoE that does a considerable amount of damage. I'll then cast Ruby Glow, which will do party wide damage, and setting up a reflective barrier in the center of the platform. This will cause his next Searing Ray to be reflected off of the barrier, so you'll want to be on the opposite side that Carbuncle is on. I'll follow this up with Crunch, this is his tank buster, and you'll just want to mitigate this accordingly. Topaz Stones is going to summon several crystals onto the platform that will do a small AoE around themselves. This is just going to introduce you to the mechanic before he starts combining it with his Ruby Glow that will do a reflective barrier, causing the AoE from the Topaz Stones to then be reflected across the entire section that they are in. So the next time he casts Topaz Stones, you'll want to move into one of the two Ruby areas that does not have one of the crystals in it. Sonic Howl is just going to do party wide damage and will need to be healed through. And then he'll charge one of the corners again, casting another Searing Ray, so you'll want to get behind him. I'll follow this up with another Crunch Tank Buster, so make sure that you're mitigating accordingly. before doing another Sonic Howl for party-wide damage. Around this time, he'll start to transition into Phase 2. He'll jump to the center of the platform and begin casting Acidic Slobber. This is going to do a bit of party-wide damage that your regents will probably end up healing you through before he changes the platform. Now phase two, we'll start adding a poison crystal along with a few other poison debuffs to some of his effects. So Ruby Glow will still just do party wide damage and then set up a barrier. Topaz Stones again is going to drop the yellow crystals onto the platform. This time there will be three of them. So there'll be one safe zone and one of the squares from the Ruby Glow. He'll then do Toxic Crush, which is going to be his normal tank buster with a poison debuff applied, so you'll need sustained healing after the initial hit. Then 
Venom Squall is going to put a circular AoE under a large group of party members, so you'll need to move out of these, along with doing a circular AoE on all party members. Afterwards, I'll follow up with a group up mechanic, so you'll need to heal up quickly from the circular AoEs so that no one will die to the group up one. I'll follow with a Sonic Howl for even more party-wide damage, so this is a large healer phase at this time. I'll then do a Topaz Stones without the Ruby Glow. This time there will be three Corrupted ones and one regular. You'll want to move towards the regular one and after it explodes you'll need to move into that corner of the platform to avoid the expanding Corrupted ones. At the same time he'll do a Toxic Crush so there will be a good amount of damage on the tank. He will then do his Bite mechanic. This is his one shot mechanic. So you'll need to make sure you're handling this one with extreme care. See where he is televising that his first AOE will be, and then watch as it moves around the platform so you know where to move. You'll want to stand on the fourth one and move to the first after he jumps to that. Make sure that you're staying along the outside of the platforms as the circular AOEs from these are quite large and you don't want to be accidentally be clipped from it. If you are hit by any of these, it doesn't matter if you're healed up, you will instantly be killed once he grabs you in his mouth and then spits you out. After this, he'll go to the center of the platform and cast another Ruby Glow, followed by the Topaz Crystals. This time it will be Topaz Clusters, which will cause the crystals to drop in a set pattern. Then there will be one crystal in each of the four areas. You'll need to move between them as the explosions occur so that you can avoid them. I'll then go to one of the corners of the platform casting a regular Searing Ray, so you just want to get behind him. I'll follow this up with another Ruby Glow. And then a Topaz Stones. This one is going to do one Corrupted one and one regular one. You'll want to get on the side of the platform that the regular crystal is not going to explode on. And then depending on which side the boss is on, afterwards you'll need to change sides to avoid the searing ray. While also staying on the side of the platform that is across from the corrupted crystal so that you're not in its poison AoE. He'll follow this up with another toxic crush on the tank. And then another ruby glow. This one will have the Topaz Stones, and will summon two regular Topaz Stones and one Corrupted one. You'll want to move into the open square that does not have the Corrupted Crystal in it, and then spread out as Venom Squall will put a circular AoE under all party members, and then a circular AoE around all party members, followed by the Group Up AoE, so again a lot of AoE damage. I'll follow this up with another Sonic Howl. So during this phase, healers make sure to keep everyone topped off. And hopefully, depending on your group, this should be it. But if not, then you'll have to proceed a little bit further and his mechanics will start to repeat. This is going to be it for Abyssos the fifth circle. I hope it's helped everyone out. If it did, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you on the next one.